Hi KTC, it's Danielle Garcia here. I'm in Vilplat. I'm currently at um, A Bear's Buddha and Cracklands. It's a what was a gas station. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera really quick so you guys can see um, what I am seeing. So here is the scene right now. There's the gas pumps that fell on the floor. You see the roof and the awning came, came over to and hit the building. Actually, um, let me see if I can get you guys a better view over here. Uh, there's the owner tells me that people were eating inside drinking coffee when it all hit this morning and actually there was a man in that green truck let's see if you could if i can zoom in and show you guys um there was a man eating his breakfast in that green truck luckily no one was injured he said apparently the uh awning flew onto his car and he didn't get hurt he got out unscathed um right now there's workers here trying to get the gas and everything situated um trying to recover everything and actually um, as I was driving in also this morning through Ville Platte there was Sean Pines Grocery uh, when the tornado or possible tornado we don't really know yet meteorologist Daniel Phillips will have that update for you from the weather service we had really strong winds here this morning um, back in Sean Pines Grocery store the workers were opening up shop and all of a sudden the windows busted in and got water all over the place and they cleaned up and they're open for business today which was awesome. It, it, it was packed. There were so many people there. Um, but as you're driving in, there, oh, the power is out. Uh, the mayor of Villeplat uh, issued a state of emergency as there's power lines down in a lot of places. There's no power right now in the city. Um, and there is still, she has a curfew on the city as well. She's asking people not to travel, but I have been seeing a lot of people driving around right now. Over there, you can see they're working on putting the power back on in areas. So right now it's still not open, but here's your look at what happened this morning. It's all pretty dangerous. I'm gonna try and stay away. Piece of roof uh, fell down on me earlier. So we're all okay, but we're just gonna stay clear of all of that. So um, if you are in Ville Platte, just be careful where you're driving. Don't go anywhere that's locked off. Um, we have seen a few trees down. We saw some homes that were ripped. I know KTC's Chris Wealthy is also in Mamu, which is in Evangeline Parish as well, and they got hit pretty hard too. But uh, meteorologist Daniel Phillips tells me that Bill Platt did get hit the hardest. Uh, we won't know until a little bit later if it was an actual tornado, um, but it does seem like it from the damage that I am seeing here. Uh, you guys saw it. It's pretty, pretty crazy. It must have been very strong to be able to rip those gas pumps out from uh, the floor and the awning into the building. You know, luckily, like I said, no one's been hurt. Um, but there was a lot of storm damage. It was more, more from the winds than rain and flooding or anything. We haven't seen much flooding, but we have seen a lot of wind damage. Um, it's getting a little loud here, so I'm gonna sign off. We'll have, stay with KTC for the latest. We'll have all the updates for you guys. Just wanted to show you what was going on over here so uh, you guys can just be careful.